G'day, I'm John, and this is another short video to go with the Avon restoration video I previously did. So there's been a couple of developments since I did the last video. Not so good, anyway. So what's happened is late 2022, I was contacted by the explosive department. Um, wanted to know how many cartridges, start cartridges I had, and could they come and look at them? Look at them. So it was fine to organise that. They came over and said, yeah, we don't like the fact you've got so many of them and the dates, blah, blah, blah. Even though I had a, a current in-service surveillance report, they still had a couple of years to run, they didn't like it, they said, no, we think there might be something wrong with them, don't use them, don't move them, that was it. So the, the battle with the department went on for about four or five months and didn't come out any good. They, they deemed them to be unauthorised, which means illegal, couldn't use them, couldn't have them, couldn't transport them, that was it. They said, you gotta get rid of them. And I had a lot of them, I had more than a lot, I had hundreds of them, more than a lifetime supply. They don't make them anymore, you can't buy them anymore. Once they're gone, that was it. Anyway, I did what I was told to do. I disposed of them all, hundreds of them, and that was it. At the end of that, there was no more, no way to start the jet from then on. So pretty depressing time having that in the shed and not being able to start it. Um, so I, after a couple of months after I disposed them, which, which, was, which was quite a lengthy process, a couple of months after that, I started getting over that and thinking, how am I gonna start this thing? So a friend, uh, a pretty switched on friend of mine, said that uh, overseas they have a similar issue with the Avons and they were using banks of compressed air cylinders to start them. So I looked into that a little bit and it seems that four big compressed air cylinders charged at 3,500 PSI would give enough air to start it a couple of times. Nice to know I could do it. I looked into the logistics of it, the rental on the cylinders, filling the cylinders, the, the regulators, the piping, all that, it just seemed like it was gonna be pretty impractical do, to do for a private person in their backyard. So I didn't go much further with that one, that idea. Not long after that, the same fellow came up with the idea. He, he was curious what um, using a high volume compressor would do, pumping compressed air into the starter breech. So apparently the, the original cartridges made a thousand PSI in the starter breech for a couple of seconds. So out of curiosity, I, I looked into it um, modified the, the starter breach to accept an airline, contacted a local um, hire company about their compressors, almost fell over backwards at the cost of hiring them for the day. Anyway, they asked what I wanted it for and said if I was happy to take the, the um, Avon down to them, I could use the compressor for free. So I said, yep, no worries. So we took it down there, picked their biggest compressor, plugged it in, pumped the air through it and eventually started winding up. Um, and I, I thought it was gonna go fast enough to start. So we called it a day for that day, organised the time in a couple of weeks' time, went back with the engine, fuel, and all the ignition stuff, the control panel and stuff, connected it all up, powered the compressor up, connected it up, and away it went, it actually started the engine. It seemed to start it quite easily, actually no overheating, and away it went. So that was that was good, I could actually start it again now. Um, but the compressor was like a $65,000 compressor on a, on, a, on a tandem trailer. Too big, to, too expensive to buy, too big to transport with the jet. Um, we could have worked with it, but it wasn't the ideal option, but at least I could start the thing. Righto, so I'm always looking for ideas how to start it. And I was watching um, one of the, 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 other, the, the other fellas on YouTube, Agent Jay-Z, does, does all the jet videos. And I just noticed in one of his videos, the, uh, the big starter hanging off the front of one of the jets he was working on. It looked very similar to the generator hanging off the back of, of an R2000 engine I got in, in uh, the front of my shed. So I started inquiring as to whether what would be involved in converting a generator into a motor. And apparently is nothing. You put power to a generator, it becomes a, a DC generator, it becomes a motor. Or if you put, if you spin a DC motor, it becomes a generator. So I discussed with a friend of mine, he said, let's give it a go. So I went through the shed grabbed a, a variety of different um, aviation generators that I had, we got them out, got some batteries and some cables, and we started putting power to them to see what they would do and what sort of revs we got out of them. I was quite surprised we got some, some serious revs out of some of them, depending which way we wired it, some, some spun faster than others, some run you know, slower. Um, so I went and pulled the generator off the back of the R2000, which is quite a big generator, so, so big, put power to it and it spun up okay. So I tried to find out what sort of torque or horsepower it had, no one really knew, but physically it looked like it would do the job. All right, I put a selection of photos together of the cartridges and the process in converting this, this Avon to electric start. Um, it's probably just easier to 
watch the look the photos and read the text and uh, you'll see the process and see how we did it all hope you enjoy it I made the next scale. Oh, really?
Pro Volt. Now the 24. 24. We got movement on the taco. Okay. Action.
one. Oh, well, I hope you understood all those photos and everything made sense to you. Uh, it was quite a lengthy process, learned a lot while I was doing it. Quite rewarding now it's all done, it's quite a relief I can actually start the engine again. So, thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed it.